Well, it was six months after being in Chilbris. That's when this opportunity was given to me. So before going there, I would like to talk more about the other opportunities that was given to me at that time. Um, there was a time when uh, it was two months after my appointment. I got a chance to be in a team where this team uh, are, were training new newer team members. They were mentoring them, and I was I, I was able to be part of that team. Being there helped me to see many other perspective. One was I was doing more than just for myself. I was also helping other team members to grow and develop their skills in serving our customers. So I got that experience from there and then October comes, that's when I saw the post from our CEO, Ralph. He talks about there's a chance we're going to set a small unit in Mizoram. At that time this caught my attention but you know I felt that I it was beyond my capability, it was beyond my reach. And then December comes. My team leader, Walambok, he came to me and asked me if I was willing to go to Aizol and be a trainer out there. That was what, that's how it started. Well, it was not easy. I had many doubts. I was scared. I had doubts on my own capabilities. I had other responsibilities as well in the team. I was looking after the customers, serving them. I had my responsibility with the team. So these were many things, many factors that 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 didn't help me to make my decisions. It was it was very difficult. I was not ready to step out of my comfort zone. I had many conversations with uh, my team members and uh, for me to get insights in making the decision. But I didn't I never got a, a clear answer on that. Um, I remember I went back home in one night and I talked to my dad about it and my dad told me to you know do what's best for you the next day I had a conversation with one of our production head at that time it was about James that's when the real discussion happened I shared what I had in mind and we had a conversation with him but then there's one thing which actually helped me to make a decision he asked me a question about where can you add value the most that made me think and ponder and I realized that, you know, the responsibility I had with the team, uh, looking after the customer, this is something that other team members can also come up and take those. I can easily de delegate them. But going out there in ISOL, going beyond that comfort zone, taking that opportunity, how many were willing to do that? That's when I was able to leverage and then see where can I add value the most. That made me led to that decision. I was amazed, it was beyond my expectation. I was amazed by the people, the environment, the place and at this time it was December so there's a Christmassy vibe all around the streets of Aizol. I felt like I was in Shillong, I felt welcome, I felt at home. I thought we started off good, I would say. But after a few days, these challenges started to pop up. One thing that I realized was, it was my lack of experience. Yes, I was part of a team where we were raising up te newer team members. But in that team, I had many other team members who could I, I, I can depend on. In the areas which I'm weak at, they will always help me. But then being out there in Aizol, I was alone. And I had to look after these newer team members it's something entirely new something which was not there creating that environment building that culture bringing that seed chill breeze culture that was the challenging part for me it was difficult for me the reasons because like i said my lack of experience uh, my understanding on the why of the company why do we exist why do we do what we do why do we go beyond I couldn't give them a very clear or a concrete answer at that time. If I were to compare that time with what I am right now, I'm sure that my understanding is much more deeper than it is. So those were just few of the challenges my life experience, like I said. There were numerous days where I had prepared and I thought that everything would go as planned. But it never did. 
there will always a new a, a new a new challenges will always pop up every day and that's when i realized that i really need to push myself and the other thing was also building that culture like i said the environment because it's entirely something new out there yes i could speak about many things i could tell them about why we exist i could tell them about the purpose of the company i could tell them about uh, why do we do what we do but those are just words i had to prove them through my actions and every day i had to remind myself that each and every action i take each and every decision i make i'm representing chilbreeze well the challenges just didn't stop there this is where the nightmare begins um it was a time w- when the trainees they move into the probation period this was the time when they were serving real customers so it was at this time one of my biggest challenges that i face in my chilbreeze career was working virtually with the shlong team there were many breakdowns communication gap and constantly delivering that customer ready deck or the quality work to our customers there were many days where i felt that i've let the team down i felt that i've let the customer down and even the company when i look back at my performance i thought that i'm not adding value to anyone not even to myself these were the days where i had sleepless nights when i even thought of quitting um i was not sure of what i was doing I was unclear of my day. I couldn't find that sense or the joy of work. I couldn't find that meaning, the joy of work. I felt overwhelmed and demotivated. I think what made me persevere was my sense of responsibility, fulfilling the responsibility which I had. Um You know what I I usually think that I usually thought that you know joy of work means something about a person coming to the office every day smiling being happy you know going out happy but I was wrong This was actually made this is what made me realize again about what joy of work is I realized that joy of work is something about you fulfilling that responsibility that was given to you and also making an impact to the people around you that was what gave me what made me persevere and that gave me that sense of joy again that motivation that drive to push through yes my journey in isol might not be about instant success but i believe it's about laying a foundation and pioneering to the unknown i believe i played my part in fulfilling chilbreeze vision in releasing the potential of the people releasing the potential of the place doing what others is not willing or able to do and creating opportunities yes we we are not there yet but i believe that we are closer than we were yesterday again coming back to the question which led me to all of this journey was where can you add value the most this was the question that helped me to step out of my comfort zone